But what I've done is I've set it up at exactly the angle. What's up? It is absolutely freezing. My skin is terrible. It's that realism vlog shit that you want or don't want. What are we going to do today? Well, I'm getting the internet installed in my studio. How were you streaming before? I hear you cry through your screens. I was using a 5G router and uh, basically they just sort of decided to make the upload speed one megabyte so I haven't been able to stream for a while. Now it's a storage unit so you're not technically allowed to get the internet installed as if it was a home but what I've done is I've got the uh, router router I'm saying router sounds rude uh, delivered to my house but the installation is at the studio so I'm actually going to go there I've got no heating in there they give me a window between 1 and 6 I'm going to wait there as if it's a house when the guy comes to install it let's just hope Let's just hope they're going to let me do it. I did actually bring some cash with me. Maybe chuck him a bun if not. It's hard out there. You've got to do what you got to do. Then what I'm going to do while I'm waiting, because I've got this five-hour window to wait, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do up the studio a little bit. I've got someone coming to share the room with me, which is going to, out, it's going to lessen my outgoings a little bit. Um, but I want to sort of... I'm coming back to streaming. What I'm going to do is I'm, I'm also going to stream on YouTube as well as Twitch. Um, I feel like I really do want to push the YouTube. If I don't reply to live streams, I'm going to live stream every day. I've been practicing. I've got breakthroughs. I've got a 30 minute set to learn, as I already said. I've got breakthroughs in my playing. I'm going to stream it all and I think I'm going to leave it up online. So I'm going on Twitch and on YouTube. If I don't reply on YouTube, then go to Twitch because I can only have the chat from one of them up at one time. And I do make more money from Twitch currently. Uh, but I'll keep you updated with how we're gonna. I'm gonna make. I want to make it look like season two. I want to do something different to the background. So we'll see. It's fucking gold. Goodbye. Okay, so we've got a bit of work to do. This is a symbol tree that I bought because I thought that might look cool in the background or foreground. I don't know. A lot of work to do. Got to make this look nice. Gonna have to put all these fucking microphones back on. Um, we're going to have to get everything into the new PreSonus Quantum 2626 all while waiting for the guy to install the internet but first I got a nice new drum rug from Minel very good very nice I had the Ikea rug in the drum streams which looked nice but if I'm honest with you don't buy an Ikea rug for a drum mat because everything moves it doesn't have the necessary grip like a custom drum mat actually would do so mine will send me this one which looks pretty fucking sick that'll do me let's put a drum kit on it every time i build myself a studio or a practice location or anything like that almost every time i don't give myself enough space so this time i'm going to give myself too much space then by the time we get the microphones on i'll be able to walk around hopefully, instead of climb round the drum kit. I'm all about fresh starts, guys. And I finally, after 20 years of playing the drums, I think I finally got a whole drum kit on a mat without anything coming off the mat and without any legs having to go through each other. Which might not seem like a big deal, but when you think about it, like most drum mats are exactly the size of the smallest drum riser you'd ever have to play, other than playing like a fucking floor show or no drum riser. But if you get used to having stuff so spread out that they need to go off the rug, what are you gonna do when that is just a, like a foot drop? So, that is my very ergonomic, very pleasing to look at setup. Um, I got my ride at a little bit of an angle, guys. Look at it. It looks better the older it gets. Oh, it's so hot. Fingers crossed, guys. 
Oh, here's one for you. Let's say hypothetically this ended up happening. I'm not sure if it will. This is uh, an R&D minor ride for me. A crashable ride with a huge fucking bell. My logo, the Dowie logo. I've been thinking in my head, like business move wise, does it make sense to put it underneath the symbol? So then like the OGs know it's the downbeat ride. Someone in a store who maybe doesn't like pentagrams wouldn't even pick that up to try it with that on the front. You know what I mean? But if it was underneath, they probably wouldn't care and they'd just try it and be like, oh, I like that ride because it's very versatile. It isn't just for metal. This is all hypothetical. Let me know what you think in the comments. Before I go any further, I'm kind of like trying to simulate where the camera's gonna be now. So I should have it so I am gonna be right in the middle. <sighs> what do I do in the background? I feel like the light is the best thing. But I was planning on putting the light up here. Ah, I don't know. Drum kit? Okay guys, that's pretty fucking cool, isn't it? It's a pretty good vibe. I reckon if I frame it like there, then we don't get any annoying white. Everything's pretty center. Maybe we do that. Um, so that's the audio setup. Rain stopped play because my new PreSonus is a Thunderbolt interface and I thought you could just use a USB-C cable. You can't, you need an actual Thunderbolt cable. So I've set everything up, everything's ready to go. But I need to wait for that cable to turn up. And then I think my plan is I've basically got audio over here, which was the same as before. But last time I had audio over here and also video over there. But what I think I want to do is free up some space over here and have audio on that side, video on that side. It'll just be a little bit easier. That looks awesome though, doesn't it? But what I want to show you guys is this device. Is it a tripod or is it the world's best practice utility for bass drums? Hopefully there's some cool stuff in the background, some bokeh, everything looking nice. Right, as you know, I've got pretty terrible foot technique, right? And what I've been doing while I haven't been streaming, I have been practicing a lot. Briefly mentioned it in the last vlog. I basically figured out that I am not playing the kick drum properly and haven't done for 20 years. When you play two strokes, you really should if you're playing heel up. I don't even know what I'm playing. A weird combination. I'm basically teaching myself to bury the beta, which is apparently bad, but that's what I'm doing. Because um, it takes the tension off of the hip flexor. If your hip is constantly floating, your hip flexor is constantly activated. I was getting tired, I was getting back problems. So I'm burying the beta. And what I did is I watched back videos of myself where I remember my feet being particularly bad, my the tension being particularly bad, my hip and back, pussy and crack, hurting while I was playing. And what I noticed was in the beats where I would overextend and actually not get it right and end up hurting, being slow, fatiguing, I'm pulling, I got quite strong hip flexors from squatting. I was lifting my leg up, this guy, super fucking high. I got gloves on, it's freezing. Super, super high. And then trying to play two strokes from the hip. Fair enough if I was bringing it up super high and then playing a toe and then using the super highness to use the full leg. But I was just trying to go super high from, you know, completely overextended so what I noticed is when I'm, the shows where I was on it my leg didn't go up as high okay so what I've been doing as well as trying to do this um, toe I guess like toe heel just to teach myself which I have noticed by the way the most insane thing ever I've never had shin burn from playing the drums you know like when your muscles are working. I've never had it in my right foot. I've always had it in my left foot. I've just never had it. It's always been hip. Proof that I'm whatever I'm doing is working. I'm activating the lower leg more than the upper leg. But what I've done, right, I've got this overhead tripod mount, which was the overhead camera, but I'm gonna to switch to a GoPro for that or a mount something off the ceiling. But what I've done is I've set it up at exactly 
the angle where my knee doesn't want to go any further than that or else I'm going to be fatigued. So I don't use it. It's almost like when you're teaching yourself to squat and if your knees go over your toes in the squat, in a low bar squat, it's not great for your knees. There's Arguably, it's not great for your knees. If you get knee pain from squatting and your knees go over your toes when you're squatting, the first thing you want to try and do is to stop your knees traveling over your toes. By that, I mean if you drew a straight line from your knee down to the floor, your knees and your toes want to be in line with each other. So in squatting, weightlifting, to correct that, what you would do is set a cue like a bar in front of your toes. So while you were squatting, your knee would slightly touch that bar and you would know that you're overextending. So what I've done is I've applied that to drumming. And when I'm playing, I'm going through my kick drum exercises, I just, if I, if I, I wanna tap it, but I don't wanna hit it. It's training me to have a limited range of motion here in order to save up here. Will it work? I don't know. It's, it appears to be working though. So yeah, I'm filming this on my phone because just as I was leaving the studio, I waited six hours for the guy to come, install the internet. Yes, I can start streaming. I can start making some money. We can start drumming again. Um, just as I was leaving, I dropped my main camera lens. That's why this is filmed on my phone. Uh, and it smashed not only into bits, but this came off the circuit board inside. Not really sure about that. Um, so I guess vlogging and streaming is on pause till I get a new lens. That was £489. Hopefully the warranty will sort it out. I've got podcasts to do. I'm going to have to use a credit card to buy another one and hope that I get the money back. Peace.